Good day, everyone. I'm Lavanya Radharam, a PhD scholar working in the Indian Institute of Technology, IIT Madras, and I'm guided by my research supervisor, Dr. Karthik Raman. Today, I'm here to present CoFSUF, a computational algorithm that we have developed to study co-production of metabolites. We all know that a lot of commercially valuable products are being produced using biological systems nowadays, but still many of the processes are limited by feasibility and yield when compared to the traditional chemical or petrochemical based processes. So how can we improve the economic feasibility of a given process is by coupling the production of two or more products. For example, in the case of riboflavin and butanol, one product is a high value, low volume product, while the other is a low value, high uh, volume product. Or we can couple two products such that one is intracellular and the other is extracellular. Therefore, the downstream processing costs are pretty low. In some cases, like the uridine and acetoin production, it is uh, better to co-produce these products than to produce them separately because they ensure better uh, cofactor balance and therefore the yield achieved is higher for both the products involved. So to uh, summarize, co-production can improve the economic feasibility of a process. It is especially helpful in cases like biofuels and fatty acids, where you would like to co-optimize a cocktail of metabolites rather than a single metabolite. And it is also useful in cases where you would like to uh, exploit the system uh, better, and also it ensures better cofactor balance in certain cases. So our uh, aim was to develop an algorithm for co-production of metabolites and study the performance of this algorithm for higher order intervention strategies and multiple metabolites and apply the algorithm to commercially valuable products like fatty acids and biofuels. So we have worked with the uh, uh, Escherichia coli and Saccharomyces cerevisiae model and we have identified high intervention strategies in both aerobic and anaerobic conditions and uh, we have obtained higher order intervention strategies for co-producing isobutanol and succinate in S. cerevisiae. The workflow goes like this. We apply the FSUF for a single product, identify common targets for more, uh, two or more products, perform FVA to validate them, that is flux variability analysis, and then choose the best intervention strategies based on the score we compute. This is the framework of CoFSUF. We use genome scale metabolic models of organisms, which can be modeled as a stoichiometric matrix and flux balance analysis is performed using them. Out of the various states that the organism can uh, uh, exist in, two of them are the maximum biomass producing state and the maximum product producing state. So as we um, uh, enforce the model to move from this uh, biomass producing state to the maximal product producing state, we see how the flux varies through all these reactions. And uh, we see that some reactions undergo an increase in flux and these are potential amplification targets. So if we increase the flux through these reactions, we should be able to see increase in uh, the flux through the product and some undergo decrease in flux these are potential knockout or deletion targets and those that uh, undergo uh, no change or oscillatory are discarded so when we perform fsuf for both uh, both the uh, products we see that uh, we obtain some amplification targets and some knockout targets which are uh, denoted by uh, tick marks and the crosses and when we identify the common targets, uh, if we apply these intervention strategies, we should be able to see a good increase in product A and B. And this is verified using FPA. So this is the table sum uh, summarizing the co-production strategies we have obtained in SRVCA in aerobic conditions. So here you can see that the various uh, commercially valuable products like ethanol, isobutanol, succinate, and various amino acids are being uh, can be co-produced. These are the wild type fluxes, and they are pretty low. And uh, the, uh, when we amplify or knock out these particular reactions, we see a good increase in both the products uh, associate, uh, and it is coupled by uh, a decrease in biomass flux. So the scores are given by the ratio of percentage of increase in product flux to the per uh, percentage of decrease in biomass flux. We have score A and B for the individual products and also an average score A plus B for uh, both the products together. So we can identify the intervention strategy based on uh, the whichever product we would like to uh, focus on more or based on the whole process a as a whole. And this is a snapshot of the uh, glycolysis and TCA cycle happening when uh, we uh, co-produce uh, both uh, succinate and isobutyl alcohol. So as you can see here, uh, we have given a lot of uh, the reactions uh, uh, in red if it's a deletion target 
and the reactions in pink if it's a, a amplification target. And the numbers in circles denote uh, the combination of the knockouts. For example, here uh, the, uh, uh, the one uh, is given for these three reactions. So knockout of these two reactions and amplification of this reaction is able to uh, improve flux in both uh, succinate and uh, isobutyl alcohol. We see that a lot of reactions uh, are involved in the direct synthesis of these uh, products as one would expect. But some reactions are present in auxiliary pathways, and this denotes that uh, uh, we can identify non-intuitive targets too using this algorithm. So uh, to conclude, multiple commercially valuable metabolites can be co-produced using E. coli and SRVCA. Anaerobic conditions, though the results have been, haven't been shown here, anaerobic conditions support the co-production of more metabolites when compared to aerobic conditions. And identification of higher order intervention strategies can expand the number of uh, combinations of metabolites produced and also improve the flux achievable. Uh, so thank you. And uh, I uh, thank everyone for this opportunity. If you have any doubts or questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Thank you.